All right, so one of my mods asked me, how did I make my geometry dash look like this to something like this? And here's his comment down here asking how did I make it and if I could do a video on it. So that's why I'm here. Basically, what I did was um, through my entire YouTube experience and looking through stuff of like how they change how the game looks, uh, I figured out you needed a paint editor. One of the first things you're going to need is paint.net, which is this website right here. So let me just single this out and go into it. Let it load a sec. And this is how it's going to look like. It's going to be your editor for how to change what the game looks like. But let me not get ahead of myself because you guys need a, you know, a link to actually get it. So I'll probably put a link in the description. But I know other things work like... Adobe Photoshop and stuff like that. So if you have other editors for images, go ahead and use those. All right, so the link should have sent you here where it says paint.net at the top and you have all these options. When you see this page, don't click on any of these ads. They look like they're downloads, but they're not. So I'm just gonna show you which ones you gotta click on. So you gotta scroll down. You have two options here, which is the actual download. So you got the Windows 10 version, which is paid, but it, it's a little bit more complicated. It's not really. It's kind of weird. You, you see the price right here. One literally just says paid and one says free. So go ahead and click on the .pdn. And then you want to click this on the top right over here. That's going to be your download. When you click that, it should pop on the bottom left. And that should be your download. So when you click that open up file at the bottom left after you download it, It'll bring you something that looks like this. It may look different for me because I already had it installed, so I had to pull up a different version just so you guys could get the idea. But you want to select it and click enter. And it'll bring you to this screen and you basically click yes and just follow the instructions. After you follow the instructions from that thing, you should be able to get this on your desktop, paint.net. It should be the new option you have. Open that up and it should bring you to the white page here. Now this is, like I already explained, it's going to be your editor. So how you open up the geometry dash files is a little bit more complicated. Not really. You want to go to this top left folder right here. Click open. And you can see some of my files. Going down here to your windows, you want to select program files. Go down. Find Steam. Down again. Steam apps. Common. Geometry Dash, Resources, and this is all the images. So anything you want to edit from this, it will change in-game after you save it. All right, so here I'm basically going to show you how to edit the pictures so you can change how your game looks like from your character to the actual menus and stuff like that. And then later on, I'm going to show you how to actually change the music. So let's start with how to actually customize your character. So in this entire thing, you want to look for something that says GJ underscore game sheet 2 HD. And it should be in the G's. As you can see, if you keep scrolling down, you see these colored squares. You're close. Keep going down. Circles. Bam. Right under this. So if you can see here, it's going to be called this. GJ underscore game sheet 0 2 dash HD. The one right next to it is the original one. So if I open this one up, you could see this is like the game stuff. And if I zoom in on it, like over here, these are your characters. This is the stuff you could customize. But this is the, uh, the original copy. So this is what your game looks like when you open it up. This is what you're going to be seeing on the entire thing. What I did was if I open up this thing again, and I go back to the HD, right here, it will only accept HD when it's typed out exactly like this. If you type it like this, BD, it will not accept it. So, yeah, what I did, since this is the original copy, it said HD before, but I made a copy of it, which is this one, and named it HD, named this BD, and accepted this one, if you guys understand that. So here is actually the edited one I did. And as you can see, I put my own logo in here. I put the 
YouTube icon, the Twitch icon. I customized my other character on the side over here, which was, or was it somewhere around here? Probably on top somewhere, but you guys could actually tell. You could even customize the practice icon from when you actually set down, you know, checkpoints in the practice levels. And right here, if you could see my mouse, this thing right here, let me zoom in on this, this blue thing, uh, originally that looked like this right here. This is the jump for your robot. You could actually customize this too, and it makes it look great in game. So you can make it green, you can make it red, whatever your preference is. I made it black and blue because that's what I like. I might customize it later on to fit the actual style of my character, but you know, it's all personal preference. All right, let me give you guys an example of what to do if you want to customize a character like just straight off. First, open this up, look for Game Sheet HD. Here it is. GJ Game Sheet underscore, well, two, and dash HD. This one, open that puppy up, and then just customize one of these icons. So, where was it? Yeah, this is the one I customized. But if you want to customize like one you don't care about, like let's say, I don't know, this cube right here, right? Whatever is in this cube, like this, is going to be customized into the game. So, I don't know, let's say you want to make this entire part like, let's say red, right? You could color that in red. What I did there was I selected it with this icon. So I, I click my mouse, hold it, and drag across the pixels, and then let go. And that's the selected area I want to customize. And if you just want to paint it in, then you could just paint it in with a bucket tool over here. Learn your tools. These things are going to help you edit to the max. You want to make it look really cool, like you just want gradient. All right, you just add the secondary color like so and just gradient and you can make really cool effects with these Alright, as you can see, I just made a really fast example right here, just using the gradient tool, which is this one. You could use this to make really good effects on your pixel art, which is basically the entire purpose of GD. It's just mostly pixel art if you go into here. So if you're really good at art, then you got this. But sometimes you'll have little imperfections that you won't even notice. It's fine. Like if you see here, this little spot right here, it's not lined up cr like correctly with this corner. So yeah, this thing... If I was like a really perfect person, I'd just go back and edit this thing out, but for the sake of the example, it's just there. But after you get all that, you just want to click X on this. It'll ask you if you want to save. Click save. Okay. Well, make sure this thing's on auto detect. So, got that. Alright, so I got GD open. I go to my characters. And bam. Here it is edited. Another thing is, uh, if you use anything white or black kind of shaded, or just anything primary color in your editor, it should come up normal if you just use white, because that's the default. So if you just set, yeah, if you want to customize the colors of your entire thing, then just keep everything white, because it won't apply to anything. Like, if you use a normal icon like this, you can see it's just purely white, because that's, I could choose the colors in game. But if you color something in the paint editor, this color, it will actually fade with the different color you choose. So just keep that in mind. Okay, basically that's how you customize your characters. Now I'm going to teach you how to actually customize your menu. So if you go down here into the GJ game sheets again, look for number 4 HD. Click that, 
open it up, and you see I already edited mine. But for yours, it should look something like, like this. And this is my version of it, completely edited. I want to go back and actually um, edit out the entire, you know, the bl white, gray, dark gray thing, because it just looks bad in game for me now. Like, I just, I don't like it anymore, so I'm going to edit that at some point. So when you go into Geometry Dash, you can see that this is actually Game Sheet 4. So that's where you use to customize this menu. To be honest, this is all you need to actually just mod out your uh, entire GD and how it looks like. Like, if you go into here, let's say Game Sheet 1, and you recognize these things in the games, and you've seen it, and you know the location of it, then chances are if you customize it here, it's going to change in game as long as you save it here. So you can just keep exploring and painting over stuff and just keep changing how the game looks. And it's just, you just let your own creativity go. Like here, this is supposed to say HD, like this one, but this is the default one you actually get. This is how that looks like. And my version looks like this. So if you know how to like color in and how to use these tools, make sure you practice how to use these tools. They are going to help you a lot. The game file's name is very, very important. If you have GJ Game Sheet 03-BD, it will not accept this one if there's another one named exactly the same but with HD. Always customize the ones you want in HD. Make sure it's exactly like this, named out exactly like this, and it should accept whatever you customized in it. Remember, it's very important that you know the name that will be accepted. It has to be HD at the end. I only put BD so the game wouldn't accept this file because it's the original copy I made. I made a copy of it so I would have something to go back to if I messed up something and saved it by accident. So this was like my fail safe and I named it something else so the game wouldn't accept it. Alright, to customize the music you want to go back into your windows, program files, Back to your Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Geometry Dash, Resources, and it will give you everything here when you're actually in the Files option. It will show everything along with this stuff. If you see these icons, these are music, and you could see that they're actually named, you know, the proper names of the levels, because that's how RobTop did it. Good job, Robert. So like, Stereo Madness. Oh, I wonder what level that is. Tap it, play it, you recognize it. It's the first level. So he already laid out what it's supposed to be called, but the way you change the menu music, it's named differently than the actual levels. Look for the file name Menu Loop. Whatever this file is named, as long as it has one of these symbols, you could actually download the song and paste it to this folder and name it Menu Loop, exactly like this, and name this one someone else, and it will take this one. So for mine, I don't know what song this is. It, it might be the original one, so let me check. So this is the one that loads up with the game. But let's say I want to change it to, I don't know, let's say Payload, right? I would name this Menu Loop one for now and bam it would be over here i would then go change this one to menu loop let me keep that two because you can't cop you can't have them name the same thing at the same time so this one number one being the one i want to change i would just name it menu loop then I would name this one Machina or something. Machina something else, so it's just not used. So then I go back into the menu loop one and see what it's called. And there we go. Now we gotta test it in game. Here's me starting up the game. And there you go. To change the 
music for the practice mode. You got to go back to the Windows, the program. God, I hate this. Steam, Steam apps, Common, Geometry Dash, Resources. Okay, so you're back here. And it's basically the same thing for the practice mode music, except the file is named. Let me look for it. The practice mode song is named Stay Inside Me. So I changed, I downloaded a different file, a music file, and I named it Stay Inside Me. And that's the one the game accepts. So since this one is not named Stay Inside Me like this one, it won't be accepted because I put BD at the end. That's the original. So I named it something different so it wouldn't be accepted. But this is the one that gets uh, accepted. So whenever I go into practice mode, I hear this song instead of this one. It's all about the file names and how they actually have to line up with what's, you know, accepting of the game. So no matter what, the game is going to take Stay Inside Me as the practice mode, you know, file. Another really cool thing you can do for your character is actually customize the streaks that are in-game, the ones you unlock. So this one... Well, seeing these, they go in order. Streak 1, 2, 3, 4. I customized the fourth one because it was my favorite streak, because of how lengthy it was. The streak numbers in the files actually correspond to what they're actually lined up to in-game. So this is 1, 2, 3, and 4. This is the one I customized, as you saw in the file names. So if I go into a game, let's say, I don't know, let, can't let go. Whenever I hit a jump pad or something, and it shows my trail, it's going to change the color right here. So look, I made it look more like a, a transparency kind of ghost looking thing. Because for whatever reason, if you use black, it's going to be transparent. Probably correspond with the outlines. So if you want to customize the trail I just showed you, it's going to be named streak underscore zero four underscore zero zero one. If you want to uh, actually customize it, like I want to keep this one, so I'm going to make a copy. So here I made my copy, and since it's named 001-copy, it's not going to be accepted because, you know, the file names. It has to be named this to be accepted. So I'll change the name afterwards. But right now I'll open this one up and customize it. Zoom in on that to make it easier. And let's just say, I don't know, you're a random person and you just don't really care for what this thing looks like. So, pff, let's just say you you want something like this, right? You just want you want to be very creative with your thing. <laughs> and you just this is exactly what you want. And you just exit that bad boy, save, yup, detect. And then go back into your files. Which is, I'll just use a shortcut. You gotta go back to the Steam, Steam apps, that entire process. But you gotta go look for it. Yup, there it is. <laughs> if I try renaming it this one directly, it won't let me. So let me just give you an example. So now they're named the exact same thing, but if I press enter, it won't let me because it's gonna ask me if I want to replace it, which I do not want to. So. I'll just name it something like 0012 and then name the original one something like 3 go back to this one and call it 1 so now this one's going to be accepted in the game <laughs> alright let's see what this thing looks like in game God, I bet it's gonna be so bad. Oh my god. Well, actually, that kind of looks cool. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> what? Why does that look so cool? 
So the thing I just showed you, the thing I just blobbed up with red, apparently it actually looks cool. What the hell? It what? You you could tell it's the the one I just made too because you could still see the trail I did behind it. But it's just it has the red crap around it now. And it kind of looks cool, I'm not going to lie. So that just shows you don't have to try too hard on your trails. Remember, if you want to keep customizing your characters in the menus, keep messing with the GJ underscore game sheet folders. The 2HD, 3HD, 4HD, and just the normal game sheet one right here. This is technically number one. And everything else in here you could customize. You could even customize the font, but that's a little bit more difficult. So, yeah, just saying. If you're an animator, you could actually make your own, I guess, explosion. If you know how to animate it really good. Apparently it looks like, I don't know, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Looks like 10 frames of an explosion, which isn't bad. Uh, You'd have to, like, know how to animate, though. So, that's great. Down here, you could customize the sliders, like the practice bars you see in the game. And the things you actually click and hold to, you know, uh, customize the volume options. So that's all here. The most important thing you just need to remember is actually know how to use the tools in Paint.net. That's literally the hardest thing. As long as you get that artistic, I guess, design in there and know what you're doing and know where to look and customize things, then you got it. And pretty much modding is just an adventure and seeing what you could find, recognize that it's in-game, and change how it looks. 